Hi everybody. So today we're going to be looking at how to produce a DJ drop. A DJ drop is about a three to seven second uh, small tagline before a piece of music or uh, before a song that introduces who the DJ is and um, you know if uh, there's any sort of branding or anything uh, associated with that production. Um, DJ drops are really popular in EDM music and hip hop and uh, live DJing. So uh, you might hear something like this, uh, which is sort of what a DJ drop does to introduce the song. You're rocking with the DJ that ke ke keeps the hits coming. Yo, 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 yo. It's the world's finest, man. DJ Hydro. DJ Hydro. <laughs> the Excelsior Mixtape. Okay, so those are examples of DJ drops. There's lots of lasers, there's lots of sound effects, and there's some effects on the vocals. So for today, let's actually go through about recording a vocal into Soundtrap and then doing some small processing and adding some effects. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new project, and we're going to start a music project, and we're going to start a new track. Now for our track, we're going to add a voice or microphone track. Okay. Now, when we add a voice or microphone track down here on the left hand side, they're going to show all the different inputs that are for your computer. So for my particular computer here, I'm using a PreSonus Audio Box i2, um, but you might be using something different if you're using like the internal microphone or display microphone or uh, a USB microphone, it should show up over here. So that is actually showing that I have good level coming into Soundtrap. And now all we need to do is we need to start saying what our DJ name is and having a little bit of a script. So for example, I will go over to here and this particular uh, web page actually has some interesting uh, popular DJ drop scripts. So you're going to start saying things like you're in the mix with your particular DJ name and your DJ name can be anything. Um, I'll use DJ Mike Testa or DJ Mike or whatever. Um, and it doesn't have to be your name. It can also be uh, something else like this might be DJ Plant or DJ Lamp or DJ Somebody. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever your branding is going to be, then uh, you can use it here. So uh, I'm just going to say like two or three of these in different types of vocals so that you can kind of hear uh, what might be needed when you do the recording. So just a reminder, when you record your audio into a microphone, you do lose some of the emotion. So you do have to overact how you speak into a microphone in order for that to translate through the microphone and to the DAW. So here's an example. Let's start a recording. We're going to start a recording up here, and I'll actually start it a little further. Uh, no, I'm not using headphones. Okay, and it will then record. And as you can see, I have input here. And now I will just go ahead and start reading some of this script. So I'm going to do these three. You're in the mix with DJ Testa. You're in the mix with DJ Testa. You're in the mix with DJ Testa. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. So I obviously overacted a lot of that, but as you're going to hear, I did sort of one or two that were just normal voice, and you'll hear that they didn't quite translate well. You're in the mix with DJ Test. Oh, so let me, uh, let me also say this. So if you automatically uh, hear some effects, just make sure you go to voice, and then down here you want it to be a dry mix so you can hear what's up. So... You're in the mix with DJ Testa. 
So as you hear, that was a little bit flat, right? But some of the overacted examples, like up here, you're in the mix with DJ Testa. You're in the mix with DJ Testa. Okay, so those are actually going to sound a lot better than, you know, the one that was underacted. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. Your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. Your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. Okay, so we have a lot of examples that we can use here. So I'm going to actually trim this up so that we just have that portion right there. And I'm going to then make a decision to say, oh, which one do I really like? You're in the mix with DJ Testa. I don't really like that one. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. So I'm going to use this particular one right here. So I want to split this clip so that I just have this small portion right here because that's all I really need for the rest of this assignment. So I'm going to go to Edit and Split Region. You can also see the shortcut right here to uh, make this a little bit quicker. So I'll split the region and it'll, as you'll see, it'll make a cut right there. I don't need this portion. I just need this portion. So I'm actually just going to put all of that further down. I don't really need it right now. I might delete it later. So now that I zoom in, I can see that this is my file that I'm going to work with for my vocal. So I'm going to turn the record off and I'm going to rename this main vocal or dry vocal so that I know I always have that project or that uh, clip right there in this particular track. I'm going to add a new track. I'm going to add in a new vocal microphone here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it underneath. And it, to paste it underneath, you just make sure you select that track, hit Edit Paste. And now I have two of the same track. Your DJ's favorite DJ. Now, as you hear, this one has a little bit of effect to it. So if I highlight this and I click on the microphone, which was already clicked, then I can come over to here with my effect presets and I can choose some interesting effects. So, for example, maybe I want a echo on this. I'm going to mute this one so you can just hear the affected one. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. Okay, so that's a little bit of an echo effect. There's a lot of effects on here. Um, so maybe like psychedelic might be an interesting one. It's your DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. Okay, so as you can hear, that's starting to sound a little bit more like a DJ drop. Um, I can also do things like manually stutter this by just taking a small clip of the original and copying over a certain part. It's your, maybe I'm just going to do, it's your, it's your, it's your, right? So I will take this, I will zoom in. Oops, I'm going to highlight this one. Come back. It's your, and that's all I want to clip off so that I can repeat, it's your, it's your. So I'm going to hit that split clip. There's my file right there. I'm going to move these a little bit further down. I'm going to take that it's your piece. I'm actually going to trim it up so that it's pretty close to the start. And then what I might do is copy this, paste it down the way, but I might actually move it between two tracks. I'll paste that again, move it between tracks. Maybe I'll put it over here. So now you're going to have it, it's your, it's your, it's your, and then it'll go into the rest of this. It's your, it's your DJ's favorite it's your DJ, DJ's favorite DJ, DJ Testa. DJ Testa. Okay, so you can kind of hear how that little effect is starting to happen. It's with a delay, but we're doing a manual delay on that. So um, you can go through and cut up the clip and have it stutter and replay a bunch of different times. Um, I might even do something like this where I copy this original clip and then do a new track. I'm going to paste it down here. Favorite DJ, DJ, favorite DJ, 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 Testa. DJ Testa. Okay, so there's my original clip right here. Maybe I'll even add a different effect to it. Maybe like a space face, whatever that is. 
Okay, so now it's going to have a lot more effect to it. And that would be my entire uh, length of the whole entire DJ drop. Um, so that's cool and all, but it's kind of lacking a little bit more pizzazz. So uh, what I might do is I might go and find some free effects. Like uh, Sound Fishing over here actually has some really cool effects. Um, if I click on these, you can kind of hear like lasers, lasers, explosions, all sorts of stuff. If it says free over here, you can use it for free. So I click on this and I should be able to download a few different sound effects. And I'm going to use these sound effects right into, uh, right in Soundtrap. So these are the ones that I want to use. I'm going to come over to Soundtrap, and I'm literally just going to start dragging them into different tracks, okay? So I don't want to drag them into the same track. I want to drag them into different tracks so that I have the option. That one looks like it didn't come all the way over. Oh, it did. That's fine. But I wanted this laser. There it is. So I'm just dragging in a bunch of different laser beams and other things. Again, I, I could choose to use these or not use them. Um, but now I'm going to be able to put them into the mix and have them be part of the production by putting them in very specific spots. Now is the time I need to start really using my volume and, and panning. Because if they're just there, it might sound like too much production. So obviously at that part, all of the, the sound effects are at the beginning, but I kind of want to spread them out a little bit, right? So maybe I'll put this one over here. Maybe I'll put this one here. Maybe I'll loop this one a couple of times. Maybe I can even chop it up so it loops better. So... That's that's kind of a lot, so let's not do that. I need more laser beams happening over here, and maybe right at the end we have a laser beam. Okay, so we can fill in a lot of stuff here with these laser sound effects. DJ. 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 Maybe we need something like a laser seven, whatever this is. DJ. DJ. Cool. All right. So as I go through and I mix this up a little bit more, I can bring in some volume down. I can bring some volume up. I can actually go into the particular track and I can make sure that some are panned left, some are panned right, so that we have lasers kind of going all over the place. Uh, again, I'm sort of just eyeballing this right now. Uh, let's make sure that this one does that. Maybe for this particular one, I want to actually add a little bit of automation so I can add some panning automation so that it goes from left to right as it goes through so we kind of get this DJ Testa. there we go right so now things are kind of moving all over the place and it sounds a lot more produced and that would be your DJ drop so as you see this is only four seconds long I don't need any of this stuff behind it um, and that is that is your DJ drop so now you would use that to introduce your particular mix. So what I would do here is I would obviously save this as DJ Drop. Hit save. And once it's done saving the project and doing the mix down, you can then uh, export this out as an MP3 or a WAV file. And now you have this particular clip that you can use. So whenever you do a remix, you can put this right before it or you can play it right before you go on air and then do your remix. So this is how you do a DJ drop. 
lots of production, lots of effects for those vocals, really make those vocals pop out, and then add lots of sound effects. Um, you can add some of the sound effects that are in Soundtrap, but I suggest you find free ones on the internet that have Creative Commons licenses so that you can use them for here.